Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Michi Makes Up. Today we're gonna to take a look at the new Suku 2021 Summer Collection. I have both the eyeshadow quads and then one shade in the Comfort Lip Fluid Glow, another shade in the Comfort Lip Fluid Fog. So let's take a look at the eyeshadows first. We have the two quads side by side. This is 105, Yoi Seki Sora. And then this is 104, Tasogare Zome. For the Comfort Lip Fluid Glow, I have 105 on call, which is uh, described as a shimmer beige. Then in the Comfort Lip Fluid Fog, I have 107 Shizumi Kage, which is uh, described as a chic mauve. The Summer Collection went on sale uh, on Selfridge's website for about a couple of hours until it was sold out or pulled. Uh, I'm not sure the reason why exactly. I don't believe it was supposed to go on sale on the Selfridges website just yet, uh, but I did manage to get these uh, for the couple of hours it was available. It is supposed to be officially launched or it's supposed to officially launch um, this coming Thursday. So by the time you guys see this video, it'll likely be Monday and I'll keep my eyes out for when it's actually gonna be launched um, so you guys can get a chance to uh, get some of these products. Um, I do have a few other items from this collection coming. I actually have both of the Nuance eyeliners in shade 102 Reddish Brown and 103 Dove Gray, as well as an additional uh, Comfort Lip product. I'll save that for probably a different video when those items arrive. And I also picked out a second uh, Comfort Lip lipstick uh, to be placed into my giveaway for when I hit 2,500 subscribers. So today we're going to, uh, besides swatches and comparisons against any other similar Suku eyeshadows I may have, I will demo with one of the quads. We will do lip swatches with both of the lipsticks. And I'm thinking both of them are actually really pretty both quads, and they look prettier in person than in photos. Um, I felt the same way with the Chanel Le Beige eyeshadow palettes, and I think it is the same um, for these quads. So I'm actually going to be demoing 104 Tasogare Zome. I am very, very interested in this shade. This shade is, I think they would describe it as a satin matte, but it has almost like a metallic finish. So even though the shade here is gonna be a base shade or a shade you use to blend out seams, I'm still really interested in it. Um, so I'll show you and I think when you see the swatches, you know what I mean. So we have that sandy, beigey shade and can you see the reflective, like the metallic quality of that? think it's absolutely beautiful. Then we have the coppery red shade, which is just very pigmented. Then we have the deep reddish brown shade, also very beautiful and very creamy. And the last shade is the lip topper shimmer and that is beautiful too. It has like a purple, blue, silvery tone to it. I think we see like white and maybe silvery sparkles. So it kind of has like a blue purple undertone, I would say. When I see this shimmer shade here, um, and I look at the promotional image Suku put out, it really does look like they created that promo image to reflect upon um, these shades here, like this vibe, especially this sparkle shade. And I'll try to put a photo above so you guys can see what I mean. It's really the sandy background the products are sitting on that is like very reflective of this. This shade here, um, this here, and of course some of the red. It's almost like sunset on the beach or sunrise. And perhaps in this case, there might be some like sunrise type shades, like some purple, saffron type, and let's go ahead and swatch it. We have first the mauve shade, which is very similar in formulation as this here from the other palette. 
Then we have this kind of like a um, pink berry shade. And then finally this very deep purpley brown. This is stunning. I'm definitely not used to seeing such a deep shade from Suku, so it was actually kind of nice to see them put in a really dramatic deep shade. And then we have this lid topper shade with all the shimmer. This has um, more of like a pinky and blue undertone to it. And I would say it's probably I want to say it's even like a little bit more shimmery than the other one, but I'm sure the effect is about the same. I think this one here, when I look at it from just like this in the pan, it almost has a beigey golden reflective quality, where here it's really obvious it's like blue and purple. They're both beautiful, and I think they both go very well with the overall color stories of the palettes they're in. So now I'm going to create a look using these shades here. I'm first gonna start with this and I'm placing that all over the lids. Then I'm taking this shade here and I'm putting it in the outer corners. I'm sweeping it upward this way at an angle and then I'm actually going to go back in and add even more of that coppery red shade towards the center of the lid. I think this is really pretty. This is a really pretty shade. Then with a finger I'm going into this sparkle shade here and adding that all over the lids. I think it would be hard to overdo the shade because I've gone in with a couple, you know, this is like my third application and it's still subtle. I'm not overdoing it, but it has just the right impact. Like you can definitely see the shimmer. Nobody's going to miss it. Very pretty. Now going into this brown shade here, I'm adding that right above the lash line. And we're actually just going to buff this out. Let me repeat this on the other eye and then I'll come back for the rest. For blush, I'm going to use 127 Nichirinka and uh, this shade was released for Suku's pre-summer collection. So this came just before the summer collection um, several weeks ago, I want to say, really not that long ago. And I think the kind of the golden and the orange here is probably going to be a good fit. Well, hopefully a good fit with this eye look. And then for lips, I will actually swatch both of these shades on my hand and I will also lip swatch both of them. Uh, one of the shades is gonna go better with uh, today's look than the other, but we'll give it a try, why not? I have here 107 Shizu Mikage, which is in the matte finish. It may not look like it now, but it will settle. And then this is 105 on call. Uh, this is described as a chic mauve, and this is described as a shimmery beige. So let me apply these on my lips. We're gonna start with the um, 107, the Chic Mauve shade here, because we're gonna end up taking that off and by the end, I wanna be wearing the beige. The shade appeared on my lips much deeper than I thought it would. Um, it's still pretty, but I think the fit is gonna definitely be with this palette. With the look that I have on and this cheek shade, I'm thinking the beige is gonna look really nice. So let me get this off and I'll come back for 105. 
Now I'm going to put on 105 on coal. This definitely goes a lot better with the look. In fact, I think this shade would also go well with this palette too because it's a nude color. And the shimmery, um, it does have like shimmers and sparkles in it as part of the finish. It's pretty subtle. So in my hand swatch, I can see it when I'm looking for it. If not, you just think, oh, this is like just the finish. It's supposed to be like a shiny finish. It actually has some um, flex in it as well. Very beautiful, very beautiful uh, color and very pretty finish. So I took out two Suku quads that I want to compare against the uh, summer releases. What I have here first is, and this is not a limited edition uh, quad, this is 03 Hikarigure. I know just by looking at the two palettes side by side, there's some similarities with this shade, and that's probably about it. This is much cooler compared to this reddish brown here, but we can see how similar these two shades look. So I have some room to swatch it right above um, the summer palette shade. This is 03 Hikarikure. And it is also a satin matte, but it almost appears, it almost appears more matte than this shade. This really has like a very slight metallic quality to it that I am not seeing from 03. Really interesting. The tones are very similar. I think this has more brown in it and this is more orangey. And then I took out 101 Harugumo, which is a spring limited edition palette uh, that was released earlier this year. From looking at this, we know this shade here is not going to be the same. This is much more red uh, and this is orange, but let's do the comparison anyway. And I love to see this shimmer shade right next to the one that is on here. They look like there could be some uh, nice similarities there. So we'll go into this shade first and I'll put that right here. Interestingly, this shade might have more similarities with uh, this one. It is still more orange, whereas this has more red in it. And I'll swatch Harugumo right here underneath the new shade so you guys can see. It's almost like an in-between of this and that. It would be too similar to have all three of these shades on a single palette, but those are the differences between them. Then with the shimmer shade, I think the shimmer shade here, while it still has like a pinky blue tone, it just looks a lot lighter, like my swatch. And I wonder if this shade may have hit heart pan, actually, um, because I just can't really get pigment or much from it, like even the sparkles. Can you see that? It's ever so slight. Whereas from the new palette, right here, it's definitely just with one swipe. I feel like I'm getting a little bit more. So the two are similar, but this is cooler. It's frostier, if you will. And this one is more obvious, the blue and the hint of purple in the specks, like in the shimmer. All the products that we looked at from the 2021 Summer Collection are made in Japan. The eyeshadow palettes have a shelf life of 
12 months and the lipsticks do not have shelf lives printed. Some of you guys may know what it is. If so, let me know in the comment section. Um, I do have uh, actually my oldest Suku lipstick comfort uh, fluid glow is from last fall and it is still going strong. So maybe, maybe it is a year. And before we go, I do want to take a brief look at the product descriptions. So both of the eyeshadow palettes are limited editions. They have sandy mattes, beautiful metallics, and twilight shadows, accentuated with large pearls that connotates the warm summer sun. And the description that describes these two shades in this collection reads as vivid and shiny hues with luminescent pearls to express the ephemeral reflections against the setting sun. For the Comfort Lip Fluid Fog, and that is the MOF shade I had on earlier, those shades are also limited edition. The one that I don't have is 106 Kure Aka, and that is described as a brick red. The description for these two shades in the collection um, is summer chic lips with nuanced shades and a touch of shadow. So I think that the eyeshadow palette is a standout. I think it's beautiful. Gorgeous, gorgeous. All of the shades on here swatched really beautifully. The shimmer is just so elegant. It, against, against all of the other shades and especially the shimmer, it almost is like champagne-like. But when I look at it up close, it feels like it's more nuanced than that. It's like kind of silvery, kind of brownish. And yeah, it just really works for me. Like this warm vibe here. Um, it goes really well with the marketing that they released. Again, that image. And I think this is really reflective of that. So the marketing image and the look you get just really ties well together. Although I do hope that the shimmer shade does not hit hard pan, which seems like that's what's happening with this shade here in Harukumo. And I've had this for less than six months. So I really hope that's not the case. Um, but yes, I'll let you know in the future when we look at more Suku, um, if you know these hit hard pan quickly or way sooner than we thought they might. I will have another video using 105 Yoiseki Sora. I think that's gonna be beautiful as well. So hopefully this gives you an idea of what to expect when the collection is actually and fully available um, on Selfridges and hopefully for more than just a couple of hours. Um, but yeah, let me know below if you're interested in anything from this collection. I also did post ahead of time swatches and um, just you know a photo of the collection of all these items that I have on Instagram. If you're interested in seeing them, you can follow me. My handle is below. Uh, it's basically Michi Makes Up. Thank you guys for watching and see you very soon. Bye.